So we're getting set up to do a little impromptu, completely non-scientific ammo test. I'm gonna put that out there right now. Non-scientific. So we've got a couple different types of ammo for an AR. We're gonna be shooting them out of a 16 inch barrel. It's a Rainier Arms Mountain, um, nothing too you know, special there. We just wanted to stick with kind of the standard length um, of barrels there. We have a you know, Mark 18 upper here, but I figured why not, why not do it with the 16s. Um, kind of explain the ammo here in a little bit, but we're gonna be shooting some water jugs and just one. I kind of just want to see how the um, expansion is, what it does to the jug. Um, not gonna line up multiple jugs. We're just kind of out here again having fun, seeing what the differences is. Differences are got a couple different FMJ loads, We've got a couple ballistic tip loads, and I also have some Mark 318, which should be pretty fun. So let's go ahead and uh, get set up here and just see what they do. We're gonna probably shoot these from like 10 yards. All right, first up, again, 10 yards, completely non scientific test XM193 55 grain FMJ. Um, just get a nice shot in the middle the best you can, and whenever you're ready, go for it. Okay. Nice. Woo, got a little wet. Doing the same height over bore, so you're kind of holding your dot right at the top of the jug. Mm -hmm. Cool. Nice. So, you're going to see here. Oh, there's your entry. Okay. It's kind of like healed itself. You're just like quarter of an inch off the center so most of your explosion was out the rear and the side let's put this aside and see how it compares to the others all right so shot two we've got some 62 grain fmj loaded up this is nothing special like ma55 steel core it's just a standard 62 grain fmj bullet so i'm guessing the results will probably be similar to the one we just shot the m193 which is just a seven grains lighter in bullet weight so go ahead whenever you're Ready there. Oh, yeah, I got real wet on that one. <laughs> Did you see where it went? Yeah. Right over here. Cool. Interesting. Now, granted, not scientific. We've already said this. I'm surprised there was that much more. Yeah. Um, you see the impacted? It definitely feels like there's more energy there he would think i don't know i'll have to punch the numbers i don't know what the if you compare the two in velocity i don't know what the energy is mm -hmm. 62 grain may have more which i would kind of guess it does yeah dude right the right dead center see that nice not getting better perfect surprising so next shot we're going to do is some uh 50 grain v max if you would uh chris drop that mag and leave your chamber loaded just hand me that mag so this is um some pretty popular varmint stuff just a ballistic tip and this is known to expand really really quickly um and it does a pretty good job at close ranges like this so i guess we'll we'll see how it does you can throw that back in if you want let's do it whenever you're ready oh yeah they got really wet <laughs> <laughs> it like it literally rocketed onto me like like a, it went it rocketed that way did you see that uh -huh. you remember what i said like the the expansion is a lot of times in the front of the mm -hmm. jug instead of the rear with those crazy i bet i wonder if that's what happened so we dug this out and as i was kind of mentioning to these guys earlier we shot jugs before and not quite this this type of a jug but the ballistic tip loads especially the v-max expand so fast um, they tend to blow out the entry hole as opposed to the exit and to be honest, I'm not really sure why that is. I don't know if it's just how the energy transfers in the water, but this was the entrance. You'll notice that as compared to the, especially the 55 grain FMJ, which had most of the exit out the rear on the side, the uh, the VMAX has all of the, the um, not really exit, I should say, but it has all of the, the expansion in the front of the jug in this case. I don't see any jacket in there or anything or, frag but maybe we'll check here in a little bit next up is some black hills 77 grain tmk tip to match king this is the 77 grain again so um, similar in bullet design to like the v max they're both ballistic tips this of course is just a lot heavier so instead of being a 50 grain bullet it's a 77 grain bullet so i feel like we're gonna get wet <laughs> here you go. load it up Oh, I got really wet on that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
I will find it. And there it is. Oh wow, that one's, yeah, that's, that's even worse. So it looks very similar to the VMAX in that the um, the energy exited out the front instead of the rear, but we got a lot more, looks like energy expansion there. We're getting, you know, stuff all the way up to the front of the jug instead of just kind of in the rear. Can't really see where the shot went. Again, don't see any frag, must have all exited. So last but not least, this is some Mark 318. So this is a 62 grain open tip match round. This is the only OTM round I have out here today. This is um, some pretty good stuff. The Marines used this for a while. I'm not sure if they're still using it. The, the goal here is that the tip uh, fragments pretty well, but the base is, is solid per my understanding. So you get good frag on the tip, but good penetration on the base. Um, so I don't think we're gonna get as wet as before, but um, I guess we'll see. We'll load that up. 62 grain, Mark 318. OTM. Yeah, they didn't shoot as much water to the rear, it looked like. Did you get yeah, as wet? Not as wet. Okay, let's go check it out. So there's the Mark 318. Found this one at about the same distance as maybe not quite the, the VMAX. Um, surprising to me though, it's like almost looks identical to the 77 grain, um, the TMK that we just shot. It looks very similar. You get a lot of expansion out the front, which kind of, or I should say, yeah, the front, which kind of surprised me where the bullet entered. There was a lot of energy leaving, um, but we did get the cap busted out, which makes me wonder if the base traveled all the way through and we got that fragmentation, like I mentioned. So I don't know, that's tough, tough to say. I know these bullets are designed to penetrate really well. I would not recommend using Mark 318 for home defense for that reason. It's um, more of a go to war round than you know, defensive, defensive loading. So anyway, there it is. I hope you can hear me all right. The wind's kind of picking up here. I apologize for any wind noise throughout this video. Um, again, shooting a 16 inch barrel through these, I would guess as a baseline for the 193. We've chrono this before. It's probably getting around 3000 or just over 3000 feet per second at this elevation and you know, this loading, this is the, the actual federal stuff. So as mentioned before, not surprised that we just saw a tiny exit and it blew out kind of the front and the sides on that one. Went up to the 62 grain, uh, and this one, again, very similar result to the 55, but we got, again, more energy out the front than I expected, and more off the side. So that one, there's more of a difference here than that, than I actually thought there would be. This one here is the 50 grain VMAX. Kind of did exactly what I expected it would. You got all that energy leaving the front where the entry point was, and nothing in the rear. I could not find anything and you can see the front this thing like rocketed across the the field and then like nosedived in the mud it went off like a rocket and i think i captured all that water in my pants um, this is the 77 grain tmk um again very similar result to the 55 but just you know much more violent from what i can see you got more uh expansion out the front and the side and then again a lot of that violent expansion and energy kind of going out the front and then lastly I think this one really surprised me this one expanded from the jug uh, far more than I thought it would at the front um, and then blew the cap out which cannot be said for that one which is the 77 grain TMK or the 55 grain the two full metal jackets both blew the cap out um, but again this one kind of su surprised me that it did so I wonder if that base went all the way through and then we got that good frag like it should so anyway again this is a completely non-scientific test just for fun i say go out and do it and just have some fun and play with some stuff you're going to get different results with different ammo and that's really like the big thing um, 556 and 223 you know kind of had a bad name for a number of years there uh, more or less because of some bad loadings that the military was using that weren't you know, as modern as we have now. So 5.56 five, is great stuff. Pick the right bullet for your purpose. You got any questions, let me know.